everybody, it's Miss Shear, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. I'm just going to adjust the camera here, and I hope you uh, come back for more. And if you are returning, thank you so much, and thank you for leaving all your comments. I'm a little bit slow at getting um, to them all right now, but I do see them all, and I intend to answer. Um, just it might take a, a little time. So I am going to do another page in the Junk Journal July 2024 challenge. The prompts are set by Meg Journals. And for today, which is July the 20th, uh, the prompt that she said is picture. And then I have been doing an affirmation for each day as well. And my affirmation today is around fly. So to spread your wings and fly. So... Um, I have a tutorial for um, all the pages in the journal so far, so if you haven't seen them, they are in the playlist on my channel, which is Junk Journal July 2024, and let's get started. So my affirmation for today is all I have to do is spread my wings and fly, and I really like that. So that's what my affirmation is today and that's what I'll be thinking about spreading my wings trying maybe something that's outside of my comfort zone maybe not being afraid to do something just give, give it a chance give it a go and then the prompt is picture so I did go I, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do for this one I had been thinking about it quite you know ever since kind of the challenge started and I had a couple ideas in mind but what I ended up do doing is I just went and I got some photos of the kids and I, I sized them to different sizes and then I decided on this fo photo so those are my godchildren my fairy godchildren and then that's Bobby's one of Bobby's girls so I then went to my gardening books and tried to find like a, a picture for a background image that I kind of would like to have in my journal. So I thought about that one and then I came across this one, which I felt suited, kind of suited the picture more as far as the colors go. I, I don't know why it just seemed to gel a little bit better for me. And then I made a little mat. I just went and collaged some book pages. So I was thinking maybe I would do like a little mat um, of the background with that still not quite sure and then I had kind of to the side of my desk a just a kit that I got in one of the British craft magazines they do the best magazines for crafts and there's like some background papers there's little sentiments and labels so I thought you know I want to do something to, to use up some of this kit because to be honest I've had it for quite a while and really haven't used much in the kit at all. So I pulled out to start, I kind of pulled out this background paper, which I thought that um, I would really, really like, and it seemed to suit the background. So I'm gonna just cut that out and get that onto a background. I forget what size this is, five by about seven to eight. So yeah, so let's, Let's get started on that. So I'm just going to cut this on my Fiskar trimmer. It's very humid here today. <clears throat> it's un uncomfortable, so uh, did I say this was seven and a half? Let's see. So I've been crafting today. I have a day off today. So I've been trying to get some crafty stuff done. Okay, I think that works really, really well. All right, so then I don't want this to be this this big. I only want it to be kind of like a mat in the background too, but I want the colors of the flowers to kind of show through. So I'm thinking that I'll cut it off maybe there. Maybe around there to start with. And then Let's see. I need to trim down the sides. So I'm 
thinking I will make a mark because I want to have a bit of a border. So what about what about if I t I'll take off a quarter of an inch to start and see. So I can always take off more. I can't add it back though. And that will okay, I'll take off another quarter of an inch. And I think then that'll be my width. Really wasn't sh really wasn't sure where I was going with this layout, but you can, you know, it's a good thing to put your photos in, and it doesn't always have to be journaled spots. I think that's good for the width, so I can see a little bit of the patterned paper. And then I'm thinking that I'm going to cut down the below bits. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking that that'll be nice. Like that. Let's see here. Okay, and then, and then we can sandwich that in there. So, I really like that. Maybe I don't even need the mat. I think that might distract from it, to be honest, because I've got a border around, unless I make it a bit smaller. Let's see. So if I make it just a wee, I take off a quarter of an inch off the side of that. And see if that uh, how that would look. Yeah. Okay. And then then I'll just take off a little sliver from the bottom. And see see how I like that. Yeah. I think I think I like that because then it does give it a bit of a mat. And then I'll just distress this as well because then that gives it a different look but then I wanted to use some of the die cuts and um, in the magazine it, this this kit came in a little cardboard little cardboard box type thing we like not deep cardboard box but I cut off a lot of the what what if I took the white border away. I sometimes like the white border, but I think if I'm going to have a mat, but then what if I take it away and then I don't like it? I think, I think I'm going to take it away. It's not going to be like the worst thing ever if I don't really like it. So I just printed this off on my printer here a little while ago. Yeah, I, I like that better. Because now that I've, because I really want to see some of that background as well. So I'm going to just trim off a little bit more from that mat and see. Yeah, I like that. All right, so then we just got that distressed a little bit. I'm not going to distress the um, background paper. And then therefore, when this sits on there, I've got, got a bit of a glare. I can cut down a little bit more from the top of this. And a little bit more from the bottom. Okay. Like so. Yeah, that's better. And then, so what I'm going to do for right now, though, is I'm going to get this background down. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the edges and then a bit in the middle. I don't need to be really heavy handed with it as long as it's tacked down. I like the edges to be secure for sure. And then a little bit in the middle. Okay, and then this can fit right in the crease there, like so. Okay, and 
then that's actually that's only up a fraction so I think I think we're good there right and then with this one here then we'll put that in the background and then we'll put that down so I'm kind of liking how that looks I think we're done with the trimmer for now and then this was part of the packaging and I really kind of liked it with all this stuff and I liked I really like that lavender so I thought that we could put that down there and then that's where I can put my sentiment there so I like kind of how that looks and then I was looking at these and I thought that this might be cute to kind of put on the outside and then there's a little feather which we could put kind of to frame the sides so let's get let's get this down because I know that I'm happy with this size and I'm thinking sorry if I'm gonna have to pull this a little closer just so I can get it somewhat evenly actually I'm going to leave a little bit more at the bottom because I got that big border at the bottom so I think I'll put that up kind of like so okay and then I'll get this down onto our background I made a nice kale and chicken risotto last night and I put some I was a able to freeze a number of portions so I'm so looking forward to having it again tonight I'm the type of person that I could make something that I like of course and I could eat it like four nights in a row that doesn't bother me or the same lunch for four lunches in a row I think that if I take the effort to do it I'm just so happy to eat it okay so for this I also had a little note pad and I thought but now that I've cut it down I'll need to resize this I should have left a tuck spot in the behind that picture but I didn't because I thought that it would be good just to leave a little bit of a note space to put some notes that I could write about that that picture was taken one summer that we went on we went we had a cottage uh, down the south shore of Nova Scotia I'm from Nova Scotia and we had the four kids and Bobby and I and oh my it was like the best time ever we had so much fun and uh, it's just really some really happy memories okay so I think I think that'll work so so for that I'm just going to put down if I have any left on here I'm gonna use this score tape there's the top it's very tiny it's about an eighth of an inch but it holds really well so even though it's small it's mighty okay oops except that was the end of the roll all right well I will use this my only issue is that I don't think I'll have enough I think it'll be too wide for my piece of paper my piece of paper is getting smaller and smaller that's all right I could just make a wee little note if I try to cut this in in lengthwise it's all just gonna stick to my scissors which I don't like so I'm gonna have to go wash the scissors okay all right so then we'll get this down and then I should be able to get my notepad behind there so I'm gonna try to put it right about there awesome and then I should be able to 
slot that in there. My book is, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll just fold it in half. My book is bending, so it's not straight because of what's on the other side. But that's all right. And I can put that in there and fish it out later. Okay, and then with this here, I wanted to go right over to the edge. I'm thinking like something like that. So I'm going to cut that straight up there. Okay, and then I can cut the edge off in a minute. But I really like how that looks. I think that looks stunning. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna use some glue, get that off, get this down. Okay, and then I just want that to close. Just up a little bit more. Okay, so that's happy with that. But I think it moved. No? Okay. Right, and then I'm just going to cut that off. And then it doesn't really look straight there. That looks straighter. And then I'm going to put my affirmation. This is going to, I'm going to really like this affirmation book. Okay, so we got that down. I do have another little piece of that I can use later, so I'll put that back in the kit. And then with my, I could put the feather there and just could have that kind of coming off to the, from the side. I do like that. And then here's another little kind of feather floating in the wind, so to speak. Not sure if I like that. I I did have this one here, which is a little, which I could put at the top instead, which I kind of, kind of like that. Although will that be a bit too much? Yeah, I kind of like that actually. Let me see. Sometimes it looks different in the camera. Yeah, I like that little one at the top. I bet you guys are saying, no, no. But I think that's... And then I didn't... There wasn't, except for... There was a bigger one of those, but... They're more... They're bigger, more... Bigger images, so... So I think I'm good with... With... Uh, that one there with this one here. Uh, the only thing I can't do is I can't glue it so that my piece of paper. Do I really need a piece of paper? Well, maybe, maybe not. Because I think that's too low. I don't want it right on top of their head. I want it up higher. So I'm just going to fish that piece of paper out. Never mind it if I can get it out because it's quite tight in there. But if I had a thought beforehand to make a side tuck or even not to put my picture down, but to have a little secret little spot in there where I could have written a note, but, but I didn't. But that's something that you guys can think about. Okay, so then I'm going to put that just, I got a glare, so I got to bring it down for a second. Uh, yeah, right about there, I think. Yeah, I think that, I think that looks cute. Maybe down just a little bit. Okay, and then, and then I can embellish it a little bit more. There was in this, in this, uh, kit, a border, if I can find it now bunch of border pages, a little bit of a border that I could put at the top. Oh, here. There was this border that, oh, that's, 
I think that's too much, I think. And that one there is, is big. There was this little piece of a border though. Oh, I kind of like that. I think I'll put that at the top. Because then that sort of separates it from the background a little bit. Just got to straighten that up. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So we'll put that down. Right at the very top. So, that looks great, yeah. And then I'm not too worried about what's on the other side. So I was thinking just now that maybe I could put one of these. These are just adhesive uh, sequins. I don't know where I got these ones. And I'm not even sure if they'll st it'll stay on from brushing against that side, but we can try. Because then when the page, when I open and close the page, it'll catch the light. Like in there. And it'll just kind of, I think that's cute. And then maybe I could put one down there in that, uh, in that bit. Right there. And uh, so I think that that's kind of cute. It kind of uh, catches the light. It catches the light more for me than than for you. But yeah, so I'm kind of happy with, with that. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's it for today. I hope you got inspired in some way and to know that, you know, you can put your pictures in your junk journal, of course. That's nothing new. And yeah, so thanks for stopping by. And until tomorrow, I hope you stay safe and well, and see you soon.